Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you what we've been purchasing throughout the week. This is actually our largest thrift haul ever. This week got out of hand. <laughs> it's a little insane. We We're, probably should have split it into two thrift hauls. Yeah, well then we would, I don't know what we would have done next week. Yeah, because we have to show you what we thrifted, right? Yeah, we got to go thrifting. So I don't know, but um, I'm sure it's going to be well over an hour. So also get us now. Most things are priced, but there's some things we're just like, uh, where's that ad in the pile? And we just well, it, all, we needed priced, to go live. It's all priced online. Yes. Like, you know, we, we, it may be a little uh, jumbled. So we, we might not have up. like quite accurate pricing when we're like, hey, we bought it for this and yeah. we're selling it for that. Do you have your that. phone? Because Deb's job tonight is if we didn't get a tag, he's going to be looking up the prices. Caitlin's going to be dropping it. the links. And um, you can go to jamierayvintage.com and there's like three or four pages of goodness. If you see anything that you like, don't wait because things um tend to sell fast like real fast things are already selling so we're gonna get started i'm just looking this up Google, go ahead okay i'm just uh pulling this up here. some of this i will take the blame i lent my tractor to my cousin and he's like hey this thing's leaking hydraulic fluid and we had to go figure that out and so that took a longer than i thought okay so while he's looking up find something that doesn't have a price tag you can look it up and i'll show the stuff that does have price tags we'll tag you you show them all right, so this is a dollar fifty. This is like a brass metal. Although Zip said brass, I'm not really sure if it's it brass or tarnished silver. It's really it's hard to. Either way, it's priced right. Yeah, see how delicate this frame is. It's like filigree, and it's got like little fleur de lis in the corner. We're gonna put really pretty oh. art in it, and it's gonna be twenty nine ninety five. It was a dollar fifty. Caitlin, did you zero that one out, or did it already sell? I have Which a picture. One? The picture didn't load on that this one. This art. I already have it right here. No, but it's showing zero quantity. Oh, it might have already the, sold. Already on the website. <laughs> you're, you're, uh, I was I, trying to add a picture and I'm like, wait. Why are you adding a picture? Because it was missing? Well, I don't know if Caitlin zeroed it out or if we did. No. Either way. Okay. Here, you look don't, up the next thing. I'll fix this. Okay. Because I know. So how to I'm look not going to look up the next thing. I'm going to show you something that's priced. This is a little candy dish. This one is. Sell. I can't, we can't remember. Yeah, this one is crystal. We had we found a bunch of crystal just like sitting out, but this one was back behind the collectibles glass, and it was only two dollars. So I don't know why they had it back there, uh, but we're selling it for eighteen ninety five. This you think if they were gonna dish. like um, <clears throat> you think if they were gonna put it behind the glass, they would charge more than two dollars for it, huh? Yeah, that's why I was like, really, only two bucks. <laughs> Okay, let's do next up. We've got this tote. We'll do the stuff that's in here. Okay. So this this has a PVC handle, and when I initially got that, I'm like, oh, I'll just put a dowel in there. But the whole thing is screwed together. They put the handle in first and then screwed it in. It's actually really well made. And I'm just we've painted PVC in the past because this is not our first time running into this. And the rest of the tote is like, it's routered edges. Like someone spent a lot of time making this thing awesome. Probably a shop project. It was $2. We're going to paint it up fun. And it's going to be $28.95. I always like it when somebody else does the hard work and builds it for us. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have these praying pewter ornaments. They've got like a hole in the top. So I'm assuming they're made to hang like on a tree. And they are from Freeport, Pennsylvania. Um, and they originally were $9.50 each back in the day. I'm selling them for $12.95 for the set. Um, they didn't have a price on them. I think these came from the bins. Yes. So anything from the bins, we don't really know what it costs. We spent about $150 total at the bins, and these were part of it. But we really needed cute. two carts. Our cart was literally like mounded over. I don't know why, but Wasn't... it's not like staying on top of the comments here. So I'm going to have to keep like scrolling down. Oh, maybe like, just usually it does it automatically. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's just behind. I think this was from the bins too. Um, so not sure. Oh, this doesn't have a price. Yeah, I'm, you're I'm not to supposed to grab stuff, stuff that doesn't you're have a price. All right, eeny meeny miny. All right, crystal. Uh, this is just a crystal taper candle, and it is I can't remember the brand on it. 
It was a dollar, not under the glass. It is etched, which is really cool. It's hard to see. see. Did the picture even show that? It barely the... shows it. So I'm going to see if I can get the camera to focus on it. Let me pull this price tag off, though. Brianna says she count she counts her bins items and averages it. We don't even count it. Yeah. We just take the total off the top. This one, I I wish this one had had a partner because I'm obsessed with etched glass. It's like it's the little details that get me. You see the etching on there? I yeah, I can see it on here. Okay. But it's about eight inches tall. It's going to be $14.95. Okay, so I found this wreath. It's a spring wreath, and it's $19.95. This also came from the bins. I was actually pleasantly surprised this week. Normally, we don't find good home decor at the bins. And this week, we found all the good stuff. Usually, it's like books and blankets and a couple decor items. And this week, we found tons of stuff for our kids. And yeah, $19.95 for this. All right, if you grab another thing that has a price tag, then I'll look up something that doesn't. I'm gonna mix books. I'm gonna mix books in today because I was watching that pre-recorded one that we did last week. I was like, man, that was a lot of books in between, and we got a bunch more. And Zeb's super excited about the books. We did have a conversation though. What to do with your preschooler? Mostly, I got this because inside there's a lot of kind of like really fun ideas, art. but the art is fun too. Um, let me see if I can find another thing of art here. Remember, you get thirty seconds an item. Thirty seconds an item. It's six ninety five. <laughs> Caitlin was Caitlin was looking at the uh, the haul before we went live, and she's like, "Good grief, guys! That's like an item, two items a minute." All right, so I'm going to be fast. Enamel tray with a green rim. It's got some chips in it. It's twelve ninety five. I would call this. It's modern, but it reminds me of like the old school refrigerator trays. So twelve ninety five green rim. Don't sleep on your Boy Scout handbooks. This one is from the nineteen sixty four. Uh, probably one of the better books I found this week. 1995 is the value on it. Even that that's on the low end. Like we yeah, price, we price according to condition up. on the books. This one, I feel like it, like this one has a lot of great info. They edited it. I was a scout master for a long time. And they, as the books got newer, it got to be uh, less and less informational inside. So the older books I like. All right, so next up, we've got an antique beige and green enamel mixing bowl from the bins. I never kind of find, like find this kind of stuff in the wild. And you know I'm obsessed with antique stuff. It's got a hole in the top and it's chippy and it's $19.95 for this mixing bowl. I'm looking around, looking around. All right, I know it's like April 6th today, um, but Mother's Day is coming. This is a um, wise guy's figurine it says world's greatest mom uh 1295 a while ago i bought a bunch of those and they all sold over time but this is actually one of the best ones i found it's american greetings handcrafted says that the mixing bowl is perfection what are our favorite thrift stores we love goodwill we love the goodwill bins and deseret industries okay next up this is this actually had the most comments on my short that I did. I was shocked that you found that with a key in it. So I didn't even know I had the key when I did the short. The key was in the bottom. So it's got the melamine tray original. It's a Samsonite. Samsonite, box. and it's $38.95, and it has the key, and the key works. Let's see if I can get this down in here. Maybe it, maybe not. Anyways, did not even know that it had the key. So that's actually two pieces of luggage that I've gotten from the bins with keys in them, which is insane. So $38.95 for this one. So these are gold. They're black underneath. Someone spray painted them gold. I don't hate the gold on them. I'm going to distress what's underneath here back a little more and age them. I might dark wax these too. They were $2 each at the uh, Deseret Industries and we're selling the pair for $29.95. Leslie says find some antiques. Father's Day's coming. We have some, but we'll work on it. All right, cat doorstop. Funny enough, one of our, sorry, there's a little feather on here. One of our followers found the exact same cat doorstop um, thrifting this week. So I thought that was fun. I told her we had twins. $18.95. I love the tweed. Very sophisticated with a bow tie. And it'll hold your door open from the bins. So let's say it was 50 cents. All right. These are uh, Delft mugs. They've got windmills on them. They're $13.95 each. We paid a dollar each for them at the thrift store. Very collectible. I saw these going upwards of like $22 a mug. Um, I love Delft. They, it has my heart. They were, here, let me see if I can show you the windmill. There's the windmill. 
they were slated as coffee mugs. I just listed them as mugs because I didn't know that if they were specifically for coffee. So I feel like you can do whatever you yeah. put cocoa in them. All right, cute little vintage Easter tin. I I know Easter has passed, but it's got a little lamb pulling the the little cute little rabbits. I love the polka dots on here, and it was made in Hong Kong. The Tin Box Company of America, um, six ninety five for this little tin. How are we doing, Caitlin? Are we faster we're, we're than a, a thing per minute? Just, we're gonna we're gonna wear everybody out. Going. They're gonna be like, <laughs> by the time we're done. All right, gold plaster artichoke. Love it. This uh, this is like a finial situation. You can put it a lot of different places in a vignette. Lots of different decor options. I haven't decided if we're painting this or dark waxing it or what we're doing. It may just come as is. It's not terrible. But... I put it as is. It's not terrible. Okay. It's good. I like the way it looks. Yeah. Do you know what you call this? What is that? Oh, yeah. French country pitcher. Oh, that'll be easy to find. Okay. Uh, but it, Or maybe French provincial. I don't remember. That's what it looked. That's what it came up as when I Googled it. $28.95 on this. All right, you're going to have to get another tag thing because I'm struggling to find this. Okay, so we also have a collection. These are uh, Homer Laughlin with Fiesta Ware, and they're stamped and say so on the bottom. They've, they've got like the signature finger, circle finger hole here. Um, we have seven of these. They're like a yellowish cream color, but they they are the Fiesta Ware. <laughs> it's because you misspelled provincial. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> It's oh, fine. it's an E, not an I. No, there's a lot of letters that were wrong. That's fine. I fixed it. Okay. Um, this one is $34.95, this French Provincial. I was actually really excited to find this one. It was $3.99. It's terracotta wall. under the... It's uh, good. Yeah, under the wash. I don't think it. it's super old, but it definitely looks like something we would find while like junking in France. So it doesn't need anything to it. No, I wouldn't paint this. Anyway, these mugs are $6.95. We've got seven of them. All right, grab one more, and I'll look up this little Florentine box that came from the bins. <laughs> you should hear Jamie laugh when she finds things. I can hear her across the aisles sometimes. <laughs> this mug was a dollar. She's like, Zeb, look at this all-star cow mug. <laughs> she was so excited. They're like, these cows are like playing baseball. There's some football going it's on. It's funny. Um, let me see if I can peel this sticker off, this price tag here. Anyway, we're selling it. It was a dollar. We're selling it for $9.95. Last week we sold a toilet mug. This week we're selling cows. Okay. Tiny, while you're up there, show them this tiny little box. Somebody put it back. They had like a huge stack of really good stuff at the bins. It's Italian. It's Italian. Um, and it's obviously Italian made in Italy. $19.95. I love the subject matter. I love that it's filigree. It's just a darling little box. The hanging planters did not get listed because we haven't decided if we're selling them. Yeah, I might use those on the front of Sometimes the cottage. Sometimes we don't know if we want to sell things. So All right. here, I'm going to get If you love cows and sports, this price. is your mug. Holstein, <laughs> it's called the Holstein World Series 2004 Collectible Cow Mug All-Star Cows. <laughs> Did you call these peat pots? Uh, I don't know. Plant, right. plant starter pots. I don't know. Something pots. Okay. You show one more item. I'll look up the pots here. Okay, hang on. I'm wandered over because I had to set stuff down. All right, I'll do another thing. So we've got this butterfly. It's um looks like to be maybe cast uh, something cast, really heavy metal. And it's $12.95. I think this is came from the bins. I don't remember buying it, but it's a wreath holder. Look how cute that is. So if you put your wreath, I want to give you an idea what it's gonna look like. Get the little tag off it. Look how cute that is. All right. Next up. Vintage cut glass. Um, it's got kind of like a greenish tint to it. It was $2 at the thrift store and just tons of design elements on there. And it's, it's kind of, when you touch the top, it's not sharp, like going to cut you. They, they sanded it a little, but it, you can, you can feel how, uh, crisp those edges are. Uh, this is $29.95. Show them this other bowl while I look up these pots. Crystal. This was three dollars. It was actually free because we paid. We bought this and this together, and they were supposed to charge us fifteen and three, and they only charged us fifteen. So we could say it was three, and this was twelve. There you go. Um, this is twenty eight dollars. I couldn't find the brand on this. I was thinking that it might be Waterford, but it's not. They didn't come up with this style. It's similar. I, there was there was. I want to say like I'm Rogers or something. 
Did you list this one? Yeah, it's sure? American Brilliant. American Brilliant. There you go. Are you sure? Oh, biodegraded I, plant pots. That's a lot of. I told you pot. Fourteen ninety five. Look and up pot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Um, I looked up pots, but you put pot. Well, We're I was gonna, pot. That's probably because I was originally going to list them individually. I'm like, these aren't worth enough to sell just one at a time. Okay, this All is right. my favorite find. Oh, this one we didn't list. Uh, did you purchase the artichoke? Oh, there's somebody else is talking about that. Okay. So this is also crystal. This was under the collectibles glass. Is this one I'm excited about. So it's this Godinger. is a four-in-one Godinger cake plate. But so we have the dome, right? It's also a punch bowl. But it's also a relish tray and just a pedestal. So four in one, very nice crystal. Let me bring it close so you can see it's the detail. Heavy. Oh man, yeah. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Can I hold it with one hand, not drop it, and get it to focus at the same time? Cortrina says, I purchased this. Sweet. It's a beautiful piece. Like, and then you flip it over and it's a chip and dip. And then it can also be a punch. I'm out of hands. Hold on. It's a lot of things. All right. While he's doing that, I'm going to show these two. We have Rudolph and we have the Dalmatian. These are both vintage. This one's 1991. This one, I don't think has the date on it, but it still has the original applause tags. I did wash them. They smell like my washing machine, $16.95 each for both of these. People always ask me about washing stuffies. I just wash them on the gentle cycle with a little bit of OxyClean and a Tide Pod with a bunch of blankets. And then I air dry them and they always come out really, really good. This one had like a little stain on here and it just came right out. Now it's clean and sanitary. All right, next up, we've got a turkey. I don't typically buy turkeys this time of year, but this one was too good to pass up. So I've found a ton of them that were like $50 and $100. This one I is, think ours is on the smaller side. This one's smaller. It does have a little part right here and needs to be touched up. So I'm just going to get some silver paint. I have some somewhere. Um, and it was $2. I'll touch it up and it's going to be $29.95. And if it doesn't sell, it'll go upstairs. What we do with our holiday stuff, if it's off season, is we put it upstairs to the holiday. Sometimes people will buy it online, but we don't put it in the shop until the holiday comes around. All right. I'm going to break your heart a little bit right now. We found a bunch of silver just out, not even under the glass. And I did not have time to list all of the stuff individually. So that might be on next week's haul. Truth be told. I'm going to tease you a little bit with it. I have to go through it and decide what I want. Like some of that might not even make it. Yeah. It is actual silver. This one, whoops, this is really tarnished. But it's in this box, which is for sale and listed. And I had to get it out. <laughs> So this is going to get painted up cool. I have some fun ideas for this. I want to I want to make this look like it was an old toolbox. It's already kind of scraped up. What? You're going to make it old and crusty? Yes. I'm shocked. I'm going to make it look old and crusty, but I want to like take my time on it. Um, so it's not going to be like your run of the mill finish on this. It's going to be $36.95. This is going to get painted as well. This is just like an old tin um, planter. It looks like somebody painted it brown. We're going to make it super cute, ready for spring, and it's going to be $24.95 for this pitcher. All right, next up, we have another pitcher. It is a chicken pitcher. It was $2.99 at Goodwill. It does have a chip on the back, but I, it was too cute to pass up, and it's going to be $9.95. Sorry, I think it would be cute with, like, floral in it, or it could still be used because the chip doesn't make it not usable. It's just on the I back took a really side. good pick of the uh, chip Some there. Kid they already touched up with crayons, so we're Some sold. Some kid's like, I hope my mom doesn't see this and crayon it. <laughs> you think She'll try? never notice. She'll never notice that it's got orange crayon in the back. All right, this little creamer here, it's uh, ZS Co. I can't remember the exact name. It's listed on the listing there. Um, but there was a bunch of like sugar dishes like this. I believe it's like a... I want to say Holland Company, something like that, somewhere from Europe there. But kind of there's a really delicate floral design on here. Some of the gold is wearing off on the on the rim here. It has been used. Um, and then there's the maker mark on it. Not a huge creamer. There is just a tiny little chip. I don't even know if you can see it right in there. But where did I go with the price on this? I lost it. 
Shimmering vintage bells already sold tonight at $19.95. And then we'll just reattach that one on there. If this you is guys 12. if you guys are new here and you're wondering, you're like, how did it sell already? Everything gets listed at the beginning of the live. So go to Jamie Ray Vintage and click thrift finds and thrift flips, and everything's in there. Even if you're watching the replay, we upload stuff every week. So this sold for $19.95. This came out of the bag wall. I was actually gonna do a really cool bag wall video. Oh, I and missed. Messed up, I really so. messed up her whole week this week. I've just been kind of like steamrolling stuff. We were we were really hustling as part of it, trying to get a bunch of videos and things done well, spring break. so that we could hang out with spring break. And not only that, we had like our biggest thrifting days of the year. We just got really cool stuff. I was going to do a bag wall short and I was like, okay, don't open these so that I can open them to finish my video. And then he, not only did he open them, he mixed everything up and he pitched some of the stuff he didn't think was good. I was like, Meg, we'll do another bag wall. Well, listen, wall. the bag walls, they just throw a bunch of like random little things that fit in the bags. And I deemed some of that like not necessary. Like, I'm like, this is must have been why she bought this bag. And it, it's a good thing he's it. cute. <laughs> I hard. didn't toss anything good, trust me. No. All right. Uh, this uh, is like this little silver. Um, I don't know, like you put little they, photos it is, in it. it How is much like did you silver, price this one at? It is silver plate. It's actually way more than I thought it would be because I tried to find them because we always try to price things these market are, value. I'm going to have to look these up. So Zeb, can you show them something else yeah. while I look these up? These are from the bag wall too. Like look how, I don't even know what this is. We called it a copper paperweight, but I don't know. I'm going to look it up. All right. We've got a book. I know you're super excited. League of Nations, 1995. <laughs> If you, if you know what I'm about to say, go ahead and just comment it below. Um, got it for the gold and the Navy. But the actual book, I guess, is good reading. And it does have some pretty good age. This is mostly like figures and facts and treaties. Um, I would consider this very dull reading. And most of this is obsolete because it's from like the 1930s, I think. It'd be cool, Ephemera. Hey, Karen, Denning. All right, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to try to be fast because uh, Zeb's going to talk about books for a while. $12.95 <laughs> for this copper paperweight. It came from um, the bag wall with a bunch of other stuff. Um, while he's going over there, dropping off that, we're going to do two creamers. This one is the Homer Laughlin creamer. It was $1.50 and it's $9.95. We found a ton of dishes. There must have been somebody older that passed because it was all really good stuff. A lot of Homer Laughlin, like an entire collection. Um, this one is actually from Goodwill, and I can't remember what this one is called. I guess it's not on the bottom. It's $9.95, but I think it's St. Martin or something, this print. And we have quite a bit in this print from the Goodwill. Then we've got bowls, $2.99 um, each bowl, and they're $9.95. They've got the I love serving bowls. They're kind of hard to find. I have three of those, and then I have two of these plates. And they're also $9.95 each. And I think I paid $1.99 for two. They have some flea bites, but overall, this set is in really good condition. It's the Mount Clements. That's what it is. All right. Guys, on top of all of this, we also have like blankets and stuff over there that are not even back here. And there's a big pile of frames Gotta over be here. Be careful here. All right. These are Jamie's finds. I didn't you find these in the bins? I found them in the bins. Minnetonka uh moccasins both eight and a half is the um size and i just thought leather moccasins they were too cute okay i'm gonna look this, this one up. has like natural rubber soles this one has like black soles embedded into the leather so do you know did you call a silver frame or i wonder what? if vicky got these because these sold right away and she told me i'd better have picked them up the carrot mugs so this okay, basket one pair has sold and one pair is available so so this well, they're, they're $19.95 each. I don't remember. Yeah, I know. I Caitlin that. just said that it had sold. All right. I'm going to show you one of these. I don't think any of them have any chips. It comes with the basket just because. But Cause we'll probably gonna... have to package them separate. Oh, yeah. One does have like it's a like, little chip right here. I think you put that in the listing. So I'm thinking yep. we'll just bubble wrap it like individually and then bubble wrap the whole thing. And but I feel like keep the, it from breaking. I feel the, and the basket has like a little one of its like hemp ties back here that's come loose. 
but I feel like the basket is like used for display for these. But look at how cool these kids are. They were cute. Are. And we, they were $3 for everything. We are selling this out for $28.95. Ooh, Vicky said, oh, she did get them. She did. Nice. Yeah, she like specifically was like, you better have got those. Oh, I did. You just couldn't see them on my little video at the end. I think they were buried. Okay, so this, Zeb found this little teeny tiny silver thing um, for like $40 online. You could put your keepsake photos in it. And we're selling it for $17.95. And I think it's precious if you want. It's like opinion. small enough. It's from the bag wall. So it was probably like a buck because it came. Well, depends on how much. So Zeb it's silver threw plate. Um, no, it's fine. Um, but it was brand new. It still had the stock photos in it. Let's do a couple more bag wall things while I'm up here. Um, Oh no, these aren't, you don't try this. Okay, you show that. I'm this is a bag wall up. thing, but I don't know if it got listed or priced. No, that I was just going to put. It's like a little tiny, like paper mache egg. That's going inside the little Easter tin. So if you want that, that's where that's going. Okay. All right. So chicken wire organizer. I like this one because it looks like someone wrote on it here. I'm going to try to get that off for you. I don't know if they used like a white marker or what. But this is like a mail organizer or paper organizer, and there's three little plaques on here. This one says Lexi and Colton, Joyce and Nick, and Matt. But I'm going to try and get that off. I think I can. If not, I can paint over it black. It's $22.95. This came in the bag wall. I bought the entire bag just for this. It had some other cute stuff in it. That's it's a Gottinger, Gottinger Silver Perfume So it bottle. used to have a crystal perfume bottle that went with it. Had it had the crystal perfume bottle with it, it's worth like 60 bucks. We're selling it for $7.95. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do with it, but it, it was just cool. Um, and then we've got this little windmill also in the bag wall, $7.95 for this. So I never pass up the bag wall. Like there was just, it was, my bag wall video was going to be so good. All oh, right, I next know. up, this I found at the bins, like totally random. So when I looked these up online, this is made to have an orb on the top. So if you take this picture and Google it, you can buy the orb separately. Um, it does have some tarnish on it, and this octopus is $18.95, nice and heavy. I just thought it'd be a great paperweight, but if you want, they have orbs that like you can buy and they fit on top. All right. Practical Gardening, the complete book. <laughs> this book was from the bins. It's $22.95. It has all kinds of goodies in there, like layout, what plants to grow next to each other, watering. I think that we should make the shop, the front of the shop, I'm going to get rid of that big old tree out front. And then we've got probably like an eighth of an acre of grass. Don't, people are going to come for you if you're and, getting rid of that tree. You know what? I can't. I'm so scared it's going to blow over onto the shop itself. It's so big and so old. But this book is amazing. And there's all kinds of like gardening tips and what to grow and what time of year and things. It's a like big, that. thick book. Also good for a coffee table. We've got, these came from the bins. I'm telling you, I never find this kind of stuff at the bins. It was just our week. This one already sold from 1995. Um, it's looks like it's electroplated copper because you can kind of see the copper wearing through, which is really cool. I don't know if this is EP, if this is or not. But anyways, this one is also 1995, but I know that this one did sell. And we probably paid like a buck, maybe a buck 99 at the bins for them. Oh, Christian said, fun fact, those types of perfume stoppers fit most of those small jars that usually have the cork stoppers in them. Oh, cool. I knew so, it had to be good. That's awesome. So this is something that I was, I had no idea what it was. It looked kind of mid-century modern to me. It does have a couple of chips. Bought it because it's stoneware and they're pretty valuable. Zeb said he found 50, 60 bucks for this cookie jar. Ours has a few I chips. I found them more than that, but ours has chips. Ours has chips. So we're selling ours for $29.95. And I think it's really cute. And if you have like a mid-century modern kitchen, this would be perfect. So this, over here, let me show them really fast. Okay. I'm trying to be quick with all the things. He's trying to be under quick. The, this is under the glaze, the cookies part. I found a lot of them. I don't even know that this is the original lid that came with it. It might have been. But this font is older and it's hand done. And I could not find this exact cookie jar online. All right. I'm getting up on the island here because I'm going to rapid fire this stuff right here. So this is an Edward Knowles bowl, $2.99 <laughs> at Goodwill, selling it for $12.95. Isn't that cute? Then we've got this juice reamer. Here, I'm just going to pass to you. Okay, I'll, I'm it ready. It's $2. We're selling that for $14.95. Isn't that cute? I love these for obviously making juice, but they're really cute for jewelry displays. I found a whole stack of these Georgian 
Homer Laughlin saucers, eggshell pattern, and I'm selling them for $3.95 each. I don't know what the original price was. Oh, a dollar each. So I'm selling for $3.95. All right. Lori got the gardening book. All I'm right. excited that you're excited. I almost kept that one because there's a ton of good info in it. I, I don't peruse all the books, but I did that one heavily. Okay, next up, I told you, lots of Homer Laughlin. Oh, it says movie recording stopped. Can you fix that? Yep. This one was $2, and we're selling it for $14.95. Kind of a mid-century modern pattern, but way cute. Zeb says this is a salesman sample. The actual platter was much larger. Yeah, that's that's all I could find Homer on it online. Homer Laughlin Hudson, 2 bucks. We're selling it for $18.95. It might not be a salesman platter, but that's what I listed it as. All right, this actually sold really fast. This is like glazed pottery. You can tell from the points. Do you guys see the little, if you're new to thrifting, if you find it and it has the points, that was what it was set on when it was glazed and fired. So a little bit more precious than just regular mass produced pottery. $3 and we sold it for $15.95. This sold really fast. It's kind of a soft rose color. Yeah, I, I found some that were crazy amounts of money, but I didn't, this one didn't have any maker's mark or anything on it. So Santa Anita Ware made in California. You all know that I'm obsessed with California pottery. It's a gravy boat, which I love. And the color is gorgeous. $14.95. And I think this was like a buck or two. Here, tell them about your, your Okay, I'm going to just keep ships. going. Hall Pottery, $5.21. Everybody loves a good piece of haul. It was a dollar, and we're selling for $14.95. It's nice and heavy, almost kind of like ironstone. This is the kind of set we want to find, like a whole set of dishware that's similar to this for the cottage. Yeah, I would love that. All right, I love anything sailing. My dad would have loved these. So these are, uh, I think they're called highball glasses, hand-cut Javit crystal, and it's got an etched mm -hmm. sailboat on it. You said you were looking for Father's Day gifts. This is the Father's Day gift. That Let me they see want. if I can focus up on that. It was a dollar each, and we're selling for fourteen ninety five. And there's two. They were not next to each other, so I had to like search to find it. I was hoping I'd find more than two, but I only found two. So that, if you have anybody that likes sailboats, that'd be great for like a den or a man cave. Um, next up. This is a little bit sad because there is a big chip, but we priced it accordingly, and I couldn't leave it. So for thirteen ninety five, it's a little teapot. It's got all the farm animals in it, including the cow. I'm obsessed with the, the sheep. And then it's got little piggies in the back. This is really convenient. I'm just going to leave you sitting there and giving you things. Perfect. <laughs> um, this actually sold really fast. Not surprised. Picked it up for a dollar. It was made in Portugal. So it's European. I think, European. I feel like people like don't, I don't know why. They don't think Portugal they is like, in Europe. Yeah, they don't distinguish it as European. But it's right there on the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. Bunny cabbageware. Never going to leave that behind. Sold it for $19.95. One of the first items to sell tonight. Um, just making sure. When will we finish the cottage? In the next couple of months. So yeah. we actually were talking about that today. Like I'm, I, I need to go in and clean up the inside, and I've been, not been wanting to do it, so I've been dragging my but feet. The weather's going to be nice this week. So while I'm floating in the pool, he's going to finish a demo, and then we'll go do some work. Okay, next it's like up, it's like real heavy respirator crown type work. pottery made in the USA. I'll probably help him. It was three dollars <laughs> and we're selling it for twelve ninety five. Look at that pattern. You messed up. You know how to drive the tractor now. Yeah, I know how to drive the tractor and you, you know, I know how to shovel demo debris out. I was so excited. I never find red transfer wear and I was searching to see if there was more. I only found one piece. Again, this was somebody had a bomb collection because I found this all at the same thrift store. Nineteen dollars for mean red and I think it was like a buck. Maybe two bucks. Caitlin, do we have share winners? Did I miss oh, you text that to us? No, let's do four share winners, but um, you can text them to me. Let me get my phone up. So share winners, we track that on Facebook because Facebook tells us who shares and we can we can reward yeah, so you guys for that. So we send happy mail. We do have one more small Franciscan bowl. So if you wind up buying these, message me this week. And I can give you the pricing on the other one. We just didn't get it listed. If nobody buys it, then I'll get that listed next week. So twenty nine ninety five. Is that each? That's for the set of two. For the set of two Franciscan bowls, we paid a dollar each. These are in tremendous shape. One did have awesome. a little chip on it. I don't remember where. Mm. Maybe not. And again, remember we were talking about pottery. Do you guys see the point places on this right here? That's where. Here's it the little one. Don't show them that. It's not listed gonna be sad all right and everybody loved this everybody said their grandma had it or they collected it this was really popular this week 
All right, next up we've got, I'm almost done with my dishes. Almost. <laughs> um, this was a Homer Laughlin bowl that I almost left behind, but it's like heavy duty ovenware. I'm gonna try to glue it. It does have a crack and you can hear it when you set it down. We, we put it in the listing. So instead of selling for like 30, we're selling for 14.95. It was too pretty to leave behind. You can see it right there. That actually runs all, all right, the way down the All right, did she text me? Let me see. <clears throat> Caitlin's probably like, uh, no, I don't have share winners. I'm busy dropping links. We'll get them. Oh, she doesn't have them. All right. If we don't get share winners, we'll do six next week. Caitlin, I think that's probably our best bet. Oh, she's getting them now. Okay, she's getting them now. We're gonna keep going. So there won't be links dropped for a minute, but you can just go to JamieRayVintage.com. You'll find it there under Thrift Flips. I know this already sold. I love soup tureens for putting floor, like um, forcing bulbs in. And this was $3. The, it would have been like $50 or $60. This translucent porcelain from Royalton China Co. Fine China. It was 3 bucks. I sold it for $18.95. It didn't have a lid or a spoon in it. Next up, gorgeous little butter dish. 1895. Look how cute that is. I think this one was anchor hawking. I can't remember. I love the pressed glass on that. Okay, let's see the detail. All right. And then um, was really shocked to find this in pristine condition. I, I know Hummel isn't as valuable as it used to be, but $27.95 for this cute little Hummel. I'm really particular with the Hummel I buy. I bought this one because it's made to hang on a wall and it's very cottagey. So aside from the fact that it's a Hummel and there's value in that, it's just really cute for your wall. Um, it's from 1989, Goebel, Germany, and it is signed on the inside. And this was the dollar just sitting on the end of the thrift store, like the little cart that came out. All right, take a pause just for a sec. Val had a question. She's like, I bought the doll, but I also want the stopper, but I've already checked out on the doll. Can I combine shipping? You got to email Caitlin. You want to tell them how? Yes. So if you order twice within 24 hours, you have to email info at jamierayvintage.com. And if you're not sure exactly how to spell that, it's listed on the bottom of our website with your order numbers or your name, either or. And Caitlin can combine shipping to what it would have been if you ordered it all at once. Can you put that somewhere? Safe. All right. Oh, and Caitlin is back. All right. Jamie, you seem very excited tonight. We are excited, but we're also trying to hurry so we can show yeah. you all this stuff um, before midnight. I don't know if excited is the word, but I'm 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 oops. I'm gonna keep monitoring comments since you okay. got that. So excited. So there was somebody thrifting with us, and she was a reseller, and I turned the corner first and I found it. And she there was an audible gasp because she was like, oh, because it's so cool. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. The price is missing, maybe like four dollars at Goodwill. I love the handle on it. The brass, it's riveted, copper, tin lined, $36.95, and it would look way cute on your wall. Kim makes a great point. She's like, if it has a chip or something, I always directly think of uh, making it into a planter. Oh, that's always good. Yeah. Us too. We love planters. <laughs> we love planting things. Hey, you got to keep showing. I'm sorry. I get distracted by the comments. Cute little bunny. This was from the bins. Originally from Thanksgiving Point, had a very expensive boutique, and it was $22.99. We're selling for $14.95. It's Bethany Low Designs, and it's like paper mache and glitter, and I'm obsessed. Like, if I could find a billion of these, I would totally buy them. Mike, that's a very good question. The Breast Cancer Awareness Cookbook, we still have it. It actually fell when we were hauling stuff in and broke out of the binding and needs to be riveted back to – I'll show you. Jamie, keep showing. Okay. So it didn't get He's listed. We it. still have it. Next week. That's what he's going to say. I got to fix it. Chrissy doll, hair grows, totally retro vintage outfit. I have not washed it yet, so I will run, not the doll, but I will run this outfit in a delicate cycle and see if I can get that stain out. Um, but she's $18.95, and she was $2 from Desert Industries. I, I found a lot of Chrissy dolls, but what I loved about this one was the outfit was the best one that I'd seen. All right, so I might just get like a small little bolt and do it. Um, because see the rivets up in here, it, this very heavy on the binding and oh, it fell and broke out. I do have all of the stuff and it's in great shape. It just fell just the right way and just dropped it out of there. So I didn't want to list it until Zeb fixed it. And then I was I like, I told you sure. someone was going to want this. I know we'll get it for next week. If we get it fixed this week, then we'll get it listed for next week. I promise. All right. So we found two rolling pins, a dollar and a dollar 50. 
and we're going to stamp them and paint them and we're going to use the new iod stamps and they'll be 21.95 they are listed separately one has is older and it has like these flat handles and then this one is just rounded kind of vintage style still has like the older metal bearings on both Oh, I wanted the Chrissy doll so bad. Did the Chrissy doll sell? I think it might have. Yeah, are we still working on the Julia cookbook? Yeah, I'd already showed it to him. Oh, you already um, showed him that? Do you want to go smell that? It's outside in my hutch. Yeah. <laughs> We're still, we got the Julia Child's first edition cookbook a few weeks ago, but it smelled like smoke. So we put it outside and we haven't ozoned it yet. So it has been listed. Okay. A dollar fifty for this planter is how much we paid, and I'm gonna paint it up. It'll be twenty two ninety five. Jamie is so cute up here. She's just living her best life, like well, I talking just, with her friends and showing all the junk off. Normally, Zeb shows you the stuff because he has long arms, but my arms are short. I'm like a T Rex, so now I can get close. I bought a whole arms. bunch of these. Zeb listed them separately. Um, these are like the little things you get for piano when you do well, but these are plaster busts, so they'll probably get painted gold or copper with dark wax. And they're going to be $12.95 each, and they were $2 each. And I bought all that they had. I think I have like seven total. Okay, Kaylin just texted me the Facebook share winners. So if this is you, email info at jamierayvintage.com, and then we will mail you something fun. We have a whole shelf of fun stuff, and we'll send it to anywhere it's legal to ship. Um, Tom, Janet Glade, Joe Colgan, Michelle Bach, B-O-U-C-K, and Jill Dothright. If that's you and you share it on Facebook, email info at jamierayvintage.com with your name and mailing address, and we'll send you something free for sharing on Facebook. Okay, what does it smell like? It's it's less, but it's, less. it's still yep, just it's showing still, the book. This is coming soon. I'm teasing you with it, but it still smells like smoke, so it's living outside in my porch hutch till it airs out. We have an ozone machine, so if we put it in the bathroom, all right, I'm almost done with this little pile here. These are, how much are these? Did, didn't I tell you price on these? I don't so think. Mike said, said my mom had breast cancer and survived 18 years. Now I want to give it to her. Oh, that's awesome. Well, we're definitely going to get it fixed this week. Let me see, silver frame. I need to find these. Oh, there they are. They're sold individually. It says that we only have one left, but I wonder if I put two in. Oh yeah, one already sold. So we have one of these left and there you can put a picture in them. We'll get a little piece of cardboard because this one is missing the backer. But look how cute that, and they're heavy. So $12.95, they're for Christmas stockings, but I think they'd be cute to hang a wreath from and then put a really cool like Victorian picture in there. That's what I would do. All right, next up, we are painting this artichoke wreath holder stocking holder and it'll be $22.95 once it's painted up all french country this is kind of like resin and it just it could look a lot better once we paint it it's not bad okay next up this is $9.95 it was a dollar we thrifted it i love the scrolls i love the coloring on it so this planter is going to stay the same and like most planters in our shop if it doesn't sell as is we'll probably wind up putting a plant in it because kazai has been Busy. Okay. Been planting I feel like it's probably your turn. I need a drink of water. All right. Get a drink of water. Round basket. It's been whitewashed. It does have leather handles. That basket's cute. Yeah. It's, uh, was this from the bins too, or did we actually get this from Goodwill? I think we got this from Goodwill, Goodwill. the regular Goodwill, not the bins or the outlet. Um, it was $3.99. We're selling the basket for $26.95. Um, and then let's see, I'm looking for stuff that's still priced. Okay, this is like a star pattern butter dish. We found a bunch of the other dishes, but this was the coolest one. Um, it was a dollar, I believe, maybe I two dollars. Oh, you already did? Everything on this side is done. You, Everything on that side is done? Yeah, you work your way over there. I got All right. you. I'm gonna guess on this, I might be off by a dollar or so. This was from the DI, it was a two dollars. It's just like a, it's got some rust and damage. Black enamel, I love it. You know, as it goes with the chips that Val was talking about. Um, rust also makes for great oh, planters. Oh, we bought that. Nice. Is she still, um, still on here? Anyway, 1995 or 1895 or somewhere in there. It's under 20 bucks. I, it's not priced. Like it didn't get a tag, so I'm not off the top of my head. I don't Somebody know. says Jamie Ray Vintage sold? Question mark. I'm not sure. All right. They like it. They like me sitting on the counter. They like you up there, close and personal. I know you're so cute up there. <laughs> All right. 
This is from the bins. I took the tag off. It was, I want to say $3.99 or $4.99. Um, not doing anything to this. It's just like a music magazine rack. And it's twenty nine ninety five. I think it would be cool, like next to your piano or something, with a bunch of music leaflets or books in there. Okay, the robe Zeb probably bought it specifically because it's red with blue um, diamond pattern. It's nine ninety five. Like sometimes that that's why Zeb buys books. Just the same reason books. we buy the Reader's Digest. If it's going to look good on a bookshelf or on a coffee table or a mantle, I'm going to get it all day long. Don't you stress. He's going to buy it. I will get it for you. I'm out there sourcing all of the goodness. Okay, Mark Twain. 1995. Again, the coloring on this is really good. It's the complete stories of Mark Twain. Double day book, 1995. It does have some wear and age on the book. So the price reflects that, but it's really cool. All right. Lakeside's Chaos. If you played this as a kid, comment below and let me know about it if you liked it or not. Uh, the game does look pretty complete. We're selling it for $24.95. It's got the board and everything in here and all the pieces. Normally Zep buys the games, but I found that one. This is Jamie's buy. But I just love the picture. Did you show them the picture? <laughs> That's exactly what the rays look like on game night. That is Aragon not what smart. game like looks like game night looks like. In fact, we rarely do game night because we're all so competitive. It doesn't usually end well. The school songbook. <laughs> it's got lots of great patina. It's got lots of good ephemera. I even like the stamp on the back of it. $16.95 for this one. Zeb buys a lot of things because of the ephemera and what it looks like. Yep. The college entomology, same thing. It looks like denim almost, except for it's green. It's got a ton of really great photos and bugs and stuff. All right. I've got a few of these. They range in price based off of age. Um, this one, to, to put in perspective, that that collector's edition or limited edition breast cancer one that I found has like triple the recipes in it. Um, this People one here now. is $14.95. Okay, so this book is $19.95, College Entomology. If you're into bugs, this has a lot of really great, like, scientific photos. So, a lot, I mean, hundreds of pages of ephemera in here. $19.95. So, this one even says updated for the 90s, re recipes updated and streamlined, which is probably why there's less in there. This book also doubled the recipes. This one's been loved like someone's been through this and cooked a lot of these recipes um better homes and gardens it's the red and white checker versus having the blue mixed in on the front there um and this one is 1995 and then we have this one here which is 1695 a little bit newer than this one and then I, someone must have had like a whole thing um, this is the new cookbook, America's number one cookbook since 1930. New recipes, tips, and ideas. This one is the 12th edition. It is $14.95. Okay. Mana and music. This one is $6.95. And then favorites number five, gospel songs. The gospel songs was worth more. I found these upwards of $19 a piece. This gospel ones is $12.95 for this music. So we always buy music leaflets because people either like them for actually playing the music or ephemera for paper crafting. So never, don't sleep on the music. Well, it's like a, like it's perfect for your mixed media piece too. And that's getting really popular. So we're going to be continuing to pick a Speaking lot of Speaking of mixed up. media, Home for a Bunny. It's a golden book missing the edge. And originally it was 25 cents. I got this from the bins. We're selling it for $7.95 specifically because the pages, the art is so cute. So don't feel bad if you take it apart because it's already missing this. You could take this apart and make some really cute nursery art. So I think this one's out of print. This is a 1959 Dr. Seuss illustrated by Fritz Seibel. Stop that ball. I haven't seen this and we've, we've purchased a lot of Dr. Seuss books in, in our day having five children but this i just i love all the art in this it's full every page that one I, they were actually selling for quite a bit okay so this next one's 14.95 we have some vintage mixed greeting cards i believe they're 16.95 and they're 16 cards i couldn't find it so i'm just gonna show a few of them to you and they have the envelopes it was somebody's like random set so if you'd like to have greeting cards on hand and you like kind of unique ones. It even has, I'm going to even send the box. 
that it came with. I got this at the bin, $16.95, and it's got all these really cute. My favorite one is that one, but then I also like that one. And this one has a copper tea kettle on it, so that's awesome. <laughs> so, anyways, whole set there. Okay, I think we're making good time. Next we are up, doing well. We I'm just trying to move stuff we've already showed, so I don't try English to show it twice. Garden Embroidery. It's got 80 embroidery patterns in here, and I'm selling this book for $16.95. And it is a hardback. That is one of the things, unless they're music leaflets, we pretty much only thrift hardback books because we feel like they stand up the test of time and long-term they're worth more. All right, this one I can look up the price. It's right there. Oh, okay. So this one, I just love the art. I need to fix it so it's kind of loose in there. I'm going to make it so the matting is correct. We'll paint the frame probably like a light green color or a light blue color. And that's going to be $22.95. We paid a dollar for it. I think that the art is precious. It just needs a painted frame. So this has been, I'm going to guess Mod Podge something. It's very, the, the transfer medium is very thick. You can see the brush strokes in it. I just, it's Jesus. But I had to buy them. It, it's been diy The stain is still all over the back. It's right up my alley. You all know that I don't love finishing the backs of something that's going to hang against the wall. $16.95. Um, $16.95. Okay, next up, we've got Madeline, the maker of Madeline. It's a really great hardback book in very good condition. It even You can kind of even hear still the cracking of the spine. $24.95. I saw these anywhere from like $30 to $100, depending on the edition. And again, this is a hardback book. So for me, if I was going to display it, I would just have, I would take the cover off because I think it's prettier. This is actually one of the cooler things. This is a stamp collection book. Unfortunately, somebody has removed all the stamps, but it's from 1901 to 1912. And it's got like a really cool cover on here. And then it's got all the stamps around the world that would have been made from 1901 to 1912. And if you could, if you collect them, then this is where you would put all your stamps in here. Um, but somebody has removed the stamps. We are starting to book. have stuff piled all over the place. It's a situation. I put the price on the back of that clock. Okay, so this is $39.95 for this clock. It's okay, but this uh, Tuscan finish is just not my favorite. So it's getting painted. All right. All right, Caitlin, how are you doing? You hanging in there? You hanging in there? So this is one of those handmade Cabbage Patch dolls. Their eyes have been painted on. And she's going to be $24.95 with her cute little pink floral dress. I don't know what that came off of. I don't either. A lot of people said that their moms like made these and sold them at craft fairs. And I just, the dress, I actually had a doll with this particular pattern of fabric. So I love it. Okay. One of my favorite Dr. Seuss books. My mom read it to me. I read it to all of my kids. Um, hand, hand, fingers, thumb. Love it. It's, it's a fun book. We love to race through it and see how fast we can read it because it rhymes really well. Uh, this one's $6.95. And then Alpha Bears, an ABC book. This one's $14.95. This is one Jamie grabbed. She just liked the art inside. Then here is for all... <laughs> that's so that was like one of the first ones that this sold. book I'll have you know. i feel like might be worth its weight in gold 12.95 better homes and garden homemade bread cookbook making bread it might be worth it coming, weight on your hips it's coming back with a vengeance like there i feel like all of like the homemaking type stuff is getting really popular now like people are like longing for handmade stuff because everything is so commercialized it makes things that are homemade super valuable. $12.95 for these pot holders, the set. They already sold. So cute. Somebody did a really good job on those. All right. I'm going to keep finding stuff that isn't priced. Good housekeeping <laughs> illustrated cookbook. Not to be confused with the Better Homes and Gardens stuff. This one, I, this is big enough and it's got great enough, good enough pictures. Throw it on your coffee table and people can tell you what they want you to make for dinner. That'd be a fun uh evening right this one is $14.95 I'm gonna start doing that with Eliza Eliza's getting into baking and I'm gonna be like hey I'm gonna pick this and you cook it and see we'll see how it goes all right this is more modern this is like right out of the food network $14.95 that one is cool it's got did you show him the bookmark on that one? Oh, sorry I had to sneeze I was holding it back and I almost couldn't finish my sentence these all have prices so 
So the bookmark is like a uh, woven cotton, almost like a. That's why I like it. Almost I, like a strap. Then you can just put it on your favorite one, or you can like, please make me something and then bookmark it. All right, all of these have prices on them. I'm gonna get these. You did first. it. You got it. Yeah. All right, family fun night, nine ninety nine. Uh, a a how book of family activities. So just lots of fun games, things you can do, ideas. Um, mostly got this just because it's got a lot of this old style art on it. Okay. This one surprised Jamie. It was worth more than she anticipated. It was from the bins, $28.95. So I saw that upwards of 50 bucks. I was like, yeah. whoa. I mean... It does have, it has, have it cool has Doreen in there, Sarah, Mary Kay, the Target Range School. I don't know. <coughs> but look at look at like the little art and things in here on every page. Oh, can you see? It's just super, <coughs> super fun. Maxine, I'm just seeing your question marks. Did you ask something? All right. 1995 <coughs> on this book, the Mozart Handbook. And it's got... It's not like a face of Mozart pressed in here. It's really hard to see on camera. Oh, you can kind of see it up there at the top. Um, this is like a history on him. Mozart in his music. Does have some art in here. I'm flipping through too fast. 995. This is like a French uh, workbook, first year French. 100% got this for the age and the coloring on it. Okay, these are all. Shakespeare. We don't sleep on the Shakespeare complete works of William Shakespeare. This one is with notes. They're all usually a little bit different. This one even has like candle wax dripped on it. And he's embossed in the first front cover as well. Um, but this one, I just like how this one's written out like scene by scene. They all, all the books do it a little bit differently. Okay. All right, so Jack's Easter basket. <laughs> 1695. We thrifted it and now it's getting passed on to you. I just figured that every year I'm going to thrift them and then I'm going to sell them. This was really cute. Actually, I don't think this was a jack. I gonna think take this might have been one of the girls because his had sports and he kept that one. Yeah. So 1695 for this cute vintage basket. We're going to take a break from the books for a sec. And this one was $2. It's like a copper tea light uh, or lantern. And it was $2 at the thrift store, going to be $14.95. And then this is also copper. This is not pressed. This is raised on here. So it's cast. Um, the bottom on this is broken out a little bit. So I don't think it will hold water. But it's $12.95. Perfect for your uh, faux flower arrangement. Do you want to show the cutest jacket that ever existed? This actually already sold. Hold on. Hold okay. on. I don't know what you... Did you price this? Yep. All right, this clock gonna get painted and the face is on crooked. I'm gonna do something cool with the face and it's gonna be uh, $26.95. We paid $3.99 at the Goodwill for this one. Um, another Ben's book, we found these separately. Is this each book or for the set? That's the set. Set of two is $39. These books are old. Samuel Butler, A Memoir, volume one and two. And they're like that perfect olive -y green color that's super popular right now. They are very old. Um, this one was 1919. Let's see if I can show you some of the art in here. All right, so this sweet little jacket, 1995, it's basically in new condition. I don't really sell baby clothes that often, but I could not leave this at the bins. It's already all washed up and ready to go. And I know we had a sweet little dress that got left upstairs, so I'm gonna grab that and the doll. and. All this stuff is listed, so you can keep showing. Okay. So look at the age on that page there. This is also from 1919. Um, but just really great. If you want to read them, read them. But I think they're more awesome for just the way they look. Okay, $2. This is wood and metal. We're going to paint it up. It'll be $18.95 candlestick. This is not old, but we liked it because it's like an olive bucket. And it is enamel. It's got the red and the white enamel. It was $1.50. It's only, we're selling it for $14.95. And then we got some music books. Sorry, I'll get back on camera in a minute, but these are too fun to show you. This is what we're talking about, ephemera. Um, I don't know that anyone can't just go like Google this actual music and purchase it cheap online, 
but we're selling it to you for the pages and the age on the pages. They almost look like they're tea stained. Uh, this one is $16.95, classic Italian songs. And then this one is like a uh, like a uh, like a weekly or monthly. This is September 1925, two dollars a year. This is the music magazine, and this is just loaded. There's like ads and things in here, but it also has tons of music. And the say and they're bigger pages too. I, I feel like this would just be cool to frame some of this. That one also $16.95. And then I got this book purely for the yellow color. It's actually a pretty cool book, Stones of Fire. Um, but $18.95 on this. Oh, we've been over an hour. We're doing actually really well. Yeah, we're we're making really We have been time. cruising. If you guys are I mean, I'm trying to infuse a little bit of story time in there, but I'm 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 also trying to. So this dress is still available. I do need to steam it. If this dress um, doesn't get purchased, it's going to go in uh, clothes for Odilia's babies. Yeah, because it's <laughs> so cute. This one did sell this cute little doll. Is this hand done? This lace. So that's smocked, and then it's well the the hem on the bottom is hand like whip stitched. You can see. Oh yes. And then it's it was homemade. I'm guessing three to six months. Sixteen ninety five. Yeah, isn't that cute? The smocking is what got me. That was from the bins. It was in really good condition. Is this a handmade doll? Yes, handmade doll. It's a pillowcase doll. It's nineteen ninety five, and that actually sold. Pillowcase doll. And then I'm trying to find. And then this little this little sweater here. Fourteen ninety five has wood buttons. Oh, it's like a onesie. It's sized seventy, which is um, six months, and it's in really good condition. So also it's a from onesie. the bins. Oh, you know what else is upstairs? That Kath Kitson uh, makeup bag. All right. This is going to be the cheapest coffee table book of the month, probably. $8.95, The Golden Treasury. It's just got like a ton of uh, architecture on American homes. Okay, I'll be right Early back. American homes. And then my favorite book. I want to go get lost in all these mountains. You have no idea. From Alaska to the Great Smokies. This is just a book on mountains. Oh, bonus, best from the West about the, um, hold on, someone was using that for like, I'm going to leave that in there, but just I just love it. I could look through it for hours. Okay, this is Kath Kitson. Sorry, I had to go upstairs. Everything is in my laundry room. Um, $12.95 for that makeup bag. It's actually in better condition than the picture that I took because I washed it after I took the picture. Hang cute? in there with us, guys. <laughs> if you're East Coast, you guys are troopers. Yeah, it's from um, it's from England, and I've sold a bunch of their yeah, purchase purses. Yeah, kits in London. So I really like them. All right, next up, these short taper candlesticks. Did I show this? From the bag wall, they're wooden. Can you show them up close? Yeah, we found them in two separate bags. Yeah. Twelve ninety five for the set of four. Okay, it's dark and decrepit. A stain. It can yes. be. It can be used as a stain. It's like a water-based stain with a built-in sealer. So I think this is, I think I priced this at like $16.95, something like that. It's like a wire basket wall pocket. It's for like yeah, I actually painted. just found that and you are correct. $16.95. Okay. Look at you remembering. There After is some stuff over here on the side. These mirrors are amazing. They're $99.95 each for the mirrors and we're going to paint them um, don't be sad. I know they're vintage and they're cool, but I think they're going to be way cuter painted. Oh, there's the side of my face and lights. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to avoid the lights. It's hard. We have a lot of them. There's a view of the ceiling. Got that. I could will for $9.99 and we're going to paint it and sell it for $99.95. There's All another right. one. Leather belts from the bins. I'm going to have to get back up. I don't know if I can get up here. <laughs> Hold on. Right. Let me show them this one. This one's also okay. $99.99. Going to get painted on this, too. I think this one in a lighter color will be pretty. Do you want me to angle the camera up so they okay. can see your face? Sixteen ninety five for this really cool vintage belt. It's, like, nice and soft, but it's leather, so it's and it's, like, punched out. I really like that one. Okay, next okay. up, dollar fifty for this bucket. And it's going to be fourteen ninety five. It's enamel, and it has a red lip. You guys, that's everything but quilts. Wait, are you sure? I'm looking no, around. We have to do these two things. Oh, these big frames. So... Yeah. This is going to get some Iron Orchid Designs transfer on there. It's a nine pane window with, it looks like original glass to me. 
Um, someone put this welcome home vinyl on it. That's coming off. We're not going to leave that on there. Yeah. Um, and then we'll put something cool, probably something floral for I spring or summer. I want to do an IOD floral, is that what you said? Yep. Okay. The Claude Monet, I was so excited to find it. And then Zev looked it up. It's worth quite a bit. Although the frame, we paid $17.99 for it at Goodwill. The frame needs a lot of love. It's been beat up and moved around. Looks like it's been in the back of a moving truck. But the print itself is pretty good. And prints of this size, similar to it, we're going for like 300 bucks. Even they say Claude Monet uh, Garden and Gaberni or at Gaberni collection. And they the, the ones that were going for like 300 said the same thing on the bottom of them. Am I too much glare? Trying to, whoa, got it. sorry. <laughs> no stress. I got it. Okay. There we go. You can kind of see it. Next up, are you that sure? That glass is killing me. Yeah, we're there. Okay, we're to the blankets and there are some clothes. I don't know how much of this stuff is priced, so that's going to be interesting. Okay, we're going to spin you around. I'm going to try to not disconnect the camera. I did tape it tonight in hopes that it won't move oh, yeah. around. I'm going to look and just make sure that we're still good. Because people okay. like looking at it so much this direction. Now it's no, not pretty daylight like it was the other night. No, we're good. Or the other, the other day when we did it. Okay, so let me pull up. Okay. I think we're good. And it didn't didn't bend. But we're gonna we don't have comments over here. Oh yeah. No, I'll go back in a minute and check for comments. Okay, this one already sold for $42.95. Let me find it on here. So we find a lot of quilts. I don't know. Can they see? I don't know what they can see. Can you flip that around so I can see what they can see, Zeb? Yes. Okay. Ta da! $42.95 for this one. These are all from the bins. Someone said much. that we love that. I, I missed their name. It scrolled by too fast, but they said that they love that we rescue these blankets. So we've been having a lot of new people find the channel that aren't like familiar with what we do. And some of them are very angry that we're buying things and selling them from the thrift store. But when we're at the bins, when they haul those bins out and they're still like three quarters of the way full, those are just going to the dump. So this one already sold and it's embroidered, but it needs to be finished. And somebody bought it for $7.95. I, I buy unfinished projects all the time. Did you show this one, Jamie? Not yet. You can show them this one. This one is just like machine quilted. I can't quite move the camera to the good angle that it was last week because of cord restraint. But this one's fun. I so don't, that one's oh, machine. Oh, $38.95. So this one is, it's pieced, but actually, I don't know if it's pieced or not. It's machine done. It's priced, priced there anyway. It's machined. Okay, so next yep. up is this granny afghan, and it's sold. This one's $39.95. Do you want to show them this one? Oh, Let's yeah. Let's keep looking at pricing. I love this one. I found this one. Someone had just tossed it back in the bins because I'd been by that bin like 10 times and not seen it, and they tossed it back in there. It does have like a lot of ends because it just looks like they were using scrap threads, but those aren't. they're not loose. They're tied in. They just, you don't cut those. So the reason why somebody put that back is that the bins, they cover up their carts with quilts. And then when they check out, they just get rid of them. They don't want anyone so this swiping one we, their stuff. It was $39.95. This one already sold. This one we bought at Goodwill. How much was it at Goodwill? The price it was $6 it. at Goodwill. $6. Yeah. And we don't, you normally like just buy them at there. the Goodwill bins, but that was a cute Let one. Let me see if you can see this close. Can you guys see how those are all individual strands? And then they come to this like scalloped edge. Okay, I'm trying to find all these homemade polyester quilt. This doesn't sell. I'm not going to be sad because this is the perfect camping quilt because it's polyester. It's got like a vintage sheet. <laughs> if on the you guys back. have been following stories, you know I've been running Jamie out, and it's been spring weather. Like, if you want, like we go out there in the morning, and two hours later, it's like nice sunny weather, and two hours later, it's snowing on us like Picture twice me in a row in a reclining. <laughs> camp chair like this watching a show that's what i do because it's so cold so this is an old polyester quilt on this side it's all pieced together and then a vintage sheet on that side 42.95 for that one all right so that this one, one was also from the regular goodwill this one was three dollars i just really liked it's almost like a seafoam green and white and it's got a really great pattern and we sell the smaller ones for $22.95. The camera focus for us. Yes, it's trying to see. 
if I can find this blue one. I don't know. Hopefully you guys have been able to find everything tonight. Caitlin reviewed our is, work. Is this one sixteen ninety five? I think so. Yeah, this one is machine yeah, done. It's not hand done, but it's really soft. I thought it'd be a great throw or like a lap afghan type, and I liked the fringe on it too. So this one, this one is not done by hand, so it's only sixteen ninety five on that. It's not like homemade or whatever. Oh, yeah. here's the lap afghan. This one's the homemade ones. Those ones are made with love, and that love costs you. <laughs> Twenty-two ninety-five, exactly. This is, this is a laugh gun. It's a lap Afghan. Lap Afghan. People said that they needed lap Afghans for like their um, wheelchairs and stuff, or when their laps were cold. Yep. I actually think that this one already sold. So this is a queen size. It's velvet. Do you want to hold it up with me? Yeah, it's forty-two ninety-five. I'm obsessed with velvet comforters. This one is really this is soft. Threshold is the brand. Is this mustard? Is that what we'd yeah, say? It's, it's like a gold it harvest. It does have a couple mustard. little spots on it. Yeah, but it's, well, it's got a couple of spots on it, but I need to run it through OxyClean again. So this one didn't get through. Oh, okay. That's why. It won't when it comes to you. They're like just dusty. It's in really good shape. It's cute. Okay. It's now we're going to try on when we were in England, we had um, some velvet quilts and it was really like cold and damp and the velvet just was super comfortable. So I've been, I actually have another velvet quilt that I oh, kept yeah, for that's, myself. That's like from being in the bins. I didn't know you hadn't washed that one yet. No, hold on. Don't put that one over here in this pile. Pile. Put that one in that. Okay. So this is actually surprising to me. I don't buy a lot of clothes, but this one was selling between 50 and a hundred dollars. Here's that you want to try on. It's a size large. It has a oh. bunch of lighthouses on it. It's made in Michigan, and it's a raincoat. It's made in the USA, and it's vintage. It's a little. It's a large. It's a little narrow on my shoulders, so it's yeah, probably but sized it's made for, to be oversized. It's probably sized for women because you see my arms. It's I just thought it was my arms really hanging cute. out of here. Very New England looking. But check it out. It's got a hood. It's like it's like canvas. Hopefully that's not rattling around on my mic too bad. Oh, you're getting static. And it has brass buttons. That's cool. Okay, so this is $9.95 for this double ring standard size. I don't think this one is mass produced. I actually think this one is homemade, judging by the stitching. Yeah, this one is homemade. And it also has hand stitching on the double ring. So you can see the hand stitching that's in here. And it's $9.95 for this pillow sham. Okay, this kimono sold. I think this one was $16.95. Well, $14.95. Zeb, you got to try this on. Oh, how did it's they... sold already? I'm going to, I'm going to maybe start buying random clothes at the bins because they're doing okay. I didn't know. I didn't know if people would like what I bought. All right. I found the armholes. Hold on. Wait for it. Do you need help? Yeah. I'm going to go check comments while you're so doing your silky. kimono. Oh, on. I'm going to break it. You're, you don't think it's one size fits all, man. I've been working out at the property. My arms are getting too big. They said it's very stylish and fabulous. <laughs> Uh, if you believe that for half a second, you can have a good chuckle with me. I would, <laughs> I would have trouble not trying to like base jump with this. Yeah, uh, don't do that at your own risk. Okay, thirty nine ninety five. This is the center of a hand pieced quilt. They never it's a finished star. it. They never finished it. I told you I fin sell half finished projects. It's hand pieced. Everything is hand sewn. Can you guys see the? See if I can tap it on there. You can see all the stitching in it. So can you imagine? That's why they didn't finish this project. But this is most of the hard work is done. And actually, this would make some really great throw pillows or whatever for like a cutter quilt to do fun things with. So or if you've got the skills, you could finish. Or the you quilt. could finish their thing, but it's got great vintage like fabric. So $39.95 for that. Zeb actually found that one. I don't know if you can wear this one. That's more like a medium. Uh, yeah, I can't. Does I'm not going to. Have a price on that, Zeb? Yes, this one is twenty nine ninety five. It's handmade. Here, I'll put it on. It looks really. I'm wearing warm. a sweatshirt, so it's going to be a little awkward on me. I thought it was a quilt, but it's not. It's definitely. <laughs> yeah, she got it because she thought it was medium. an afghan. <laughs> it's not an afghan. That's not like look, look how cute that is. It's an af jacket. It, it's an afghan sweater jacket coat. It's cream and it's cute, and I like the pattern on it. Okay, Zeb's got twelve ninety five. Little, little doily for your end table or coffee table. Okay, I bought this because I was like, if it doesn't sell, I'm keeping it. 
1995 king size Ralph Lauren vintage. That's actually a lot floral. of fabric. What do you think? This is about three yards of fabric or more. Yeah. So, yep, this is going in that this needs to go over on the oh. on the wash Some pile. Funky stuff happening. It's dusty. 1995 though for that one. This one is brand new. It was in the packaging at the bins and we sold it for 18.95. It's a shower curtain. It already sold. I took it out of the plastic packaging cuz it's cute. Ta-da. Is it cute? What does it look no. like on camera? Let me look. Let me look. Because we can't see comments, so hopefully everything's going good. I'll look at it in a second. I'll look at comments. Caitlin's like, guys, it's 10 o'clock. Okay, we have two more things. <laughs> I'm going to go check comments. She didn't really say that. She never complains. It's 951. We're 21 minutes over. I feel like that's pretty good. All right. What are, you, what are these, Jamie? I got them. They're for the top of your... They're balance. Balances. There you go. They're for They're, the top I of your the curtains size in there or too. your windows. Um, these are, they're older, but they are not handmade. Yeah. And when I say older, like probably eighties, maybe nineties, the price was on there. I think it was on the other but one. But it is a set of two. Whoops. And they're heavier cotton. All right. I cannot put this on with a sweatshirt on. So hold on. I'm going to demonstrate. Here, can you hold my mic? I will hold your mic. All right. Yeah. Okay. Those are a set. Oh, this one's cool. This one's double sided. I'm a medium. It's double sided. It's got its fake fur and suede. So you can wear it like this, or you can flip it inside out. This is like where it goes from like an afternoon of fun into like a fancy evening of fun. I don't think they can hear you. Oh, that's how you take it from an afternoon to a fancy evening. Hold on. Ta da! All right, let's put the camera around. We'll say bye to our friends. All right. Let me see if I can do this without knocking it over. Like I said, I taped it in hopes that we wouldn't have any. Let me double check issues. and make sure we're good. You guys, that was the biggest thrift haul. We haven't had, that was like 150 items, I think. 170. Whew. Think of all the washing that has been happening. And I actually have a few more things to wash. All right, guys, thank you for shopping along. We are not going to have this much next week, I promise. There's actually some things that we didn't even list, um, <laughs> and we'll get that next week. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe and thumbs up button, and I have to say it in order. So if, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. I can't do it unless I can. Thanks for like hanging that. out late with us, guys. It was a lot of fun. See you on the Hopefully next Hopefully we episode. didn't go too rapid fire. Bye, you guys.